I'm Bonnie Gibson and I'm a gourd artist. I didn't even know what a gourd was until the 90s. And I went to an art show where someone was turning gourds into Native American pottery. And this was a new medium I could carve on. Tucson artist Bonnie Gibson started out hand carving duck decoys and small wildlife carvings, but she was never interested in just sticking to one art form. Originally, when I got into the gourd world, people were just painting on them or turning them into birdhouses, and I could see that they could maybe be something more, maybe be more like a piece of sculptural art. And I came into the gourd art field um, having many previous experiences, I used to do scale miniatures for a living. I did scrimshaw, I did wood carving. You know, anything you can think of, I've probably tried at some point or another. I find myself drawn mostly to sculptural art rather than just painting. I'm more of a 3D artist than I am a 2D artist. I carve on them, I cut holes in them, I pierce them, I uh, combine more than one gourd together to get a sculptural piece. I just try to manipulate them and, and use them as a canvas. If you're a painter or a clay artist, you get your supplies and canvas at an art supply store. But what do you do if you have to sew your canvas before you reap your art? We're very fortunate in Arizona that it's a great growing climate for gourds and there is a large gourd farm in Casa Grande which grows tens of thousands of gourds. So I'll go up there and I'll hand select gourds to pick the shapes and sizes that I like. They are related to pumpkins and squashes. They grow out in the field on vines. The difference between these and squashes and pumpkins is that when they dry, they're wood-like instead of rotting away like a pumpkin would do over time. One of the first things you might notice about a Bonnie Gibson gourd is the intricate details she puts into every piece she creates. I do have many what I would call signature techniques, the piercing or, or carving ripples or waves or different things. I, a lot of my gourds I carve out of wood small hummingbirds and use that as part of the design and so that's become pretty recognizable. Bonnie's gourds are some of the most unique pieces on the market. It's been her mission to change the perception of gourd art. Um, I, I'd like to raise it to more of an art form uh, where it can be accepted as an art form the same way that pottery or wood turning or other dimensional arts are accepted as art forms. And in the beginning, I would go to a gallery and want to show my work and they would kind of poo-poo it and say, oh, you know, gourds, that's, that's just a craft. But after a while, I started noticing that with what I was bringing into them, they would look at it with a new respect and say, okay, this is more than just a craft. You're doing new and different things with them. And <clears throat> that's been one of my goals all along is to try to elevate it into an art form so it's accepted as an art form.